Justin Berger here with Be Terrific, and we are still live from the Greenwich Concourse de Elegance. Now, what's special about this year in 2017 is that it's the first year that Hot Rods are here at the event today, and I am here with this beautiful blue beauty, and Ron, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. How are you doing today, Ron? Very good, Allison. Great. So tell me about this Ford that we have in, behind us. We have a 1932 Ford. Mm -hmm. It's an original car. It um, It is a hot rod. Uh, we've owned this car for 45 years. Now, what actually defines a hot rod? Well, you lose the fenders, you lose the hood, you lose the top, you change the engine. You uh, make it a lot, a lot different than an original old car. Okay. Now, did you do that to this? Pretty much, yep. Yep, as a kid, when I found it back in 1972, uh, I took it and built the pieces into what you see behind us. So you've had it for quite some time. Yep, 45 years as of this year. Mm -hmm. It's like your baby. It's uh, definitely part of the family. <laughs> Do you have a name for her? Not really. No? no? Just the Ford? Yeah, that's it. Just the hot rod. The Roadster. The Roadster. The Roadster. I like it. I like it. And the color is great. Is this the original color it was in? No, this color here is a mix of uh, the Ford Grabber Plu around 1970. Always liked that color when I was in high school. Mm. We did have black and white televisions back then, but cars are pretty colorful. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now, what is it like being here the first time that hot rods are welcomed at the concourse? It's pretty interesting. It's nice to be at a concourse event, but to be recognized with hot rods, uh, they were kind of like the bad boys of the thing. Uh, concourse events are very elite, high-end, really amazing, nice cars. To get the hot rods to be recognized as part of the hot rod history, automotive history, mm -hmm. it, um, it's pretty exciting to be part of that and to be included as part of it. And to be invited as well. What yeah. an honor. Yeah, definitely uh, to apply to it and to let them understand the history of what you're bringing and to be part of that first time, uh, first event. It definitely was exciting. And this is your, this is the first time that you got to be a part of it. And yes. Yes. How, an ex how exciting. Is this something you've always looked forward to trying to be a part of? This particular event, yes. Um, I've known, I'm a resident of Connecticut. I've known about the concourse at Greenwich for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm a hot rod guy. I've had this car forever. And I've always felt that recognition of hot rods, the old drag cars and things, definitely need to be recognized and the public get to see it right and for Greenwich to finally make the decision to include this as part of automotive heritage mm -hmm. um, it, it really was a great opportunity right. to finally say well here we are it's a great opportunity so how cool do you feel when you're driving this car around town it, it's um it is neat it is neat <laughs> to, to drive a car like this you know I use this uh, daily if I can if the weather's nice there are people who will give you the thumbs up and recognize mm -hmm. it you know, you got to drive down the interstate with it. You really have to be cautious of who's looking at you and getting closer <laughs> to you with their cars. So um, you have to be aware, but it definitely is a trip to be in a car like this, for sure. How exciting. And for so long, too. So what's your favorite memory that you've had with this car? Uh, I've had an awful lot of memories. I've drag raced the car. We've driven to California and back in the car. Oh, wow. Uh, dri drive in California at the Pacific Coast Highway. Oh, that must have been beautiful. Go to Seal Beach. Things like that. That uh, Here, Connecticut is cool in the summertime. For us, car culture, hot rods, California was the place. To get the opportunity to do that with your hot rod, that was priceless. That That's definitely was cool. Awesome. So. so what's one thing that's really special about this car that you wouldn't know by just looking at it? I think the most special part is the engine. The engine is unusual because it started life in 1948 as a flatted Ford block. Um, people understand what a flatted Ford is. Um, they started making that engine in 1932. Mm -hmm. The unusual part about this is there was conversions made to make your old Ford engine faster. No different than you could buy speed parts today for cars to make them faster. Wow. In the day, they made these parts that it the aluminum head mm -hmm. that says Arden on it. Yes. They made that in 1947. Wow. And what that is is the granddaddy to the Chrysler Hemi. Now mm -hmm. that word Hemi today means something. You can see the commercials on television for Hemi. That was done in 1947. It's supercharged. The supercharger was made in 1956. So really what we have is something extremely old Yeah. to power the car. Wow, that's incredible. I feel supercharged just standing next to it. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the power coming off of it. It's such a cool thing. Yeah, it's, it's okay. 
<laughs> oh, Ron, you're being modest. Yeah, that goes with old age, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ron, thank you so much for sharing some of your supercharged energy with me. Oh, I appreciate it. And what Thanks an honor for you to finally be here with yeah, your hot rods. It's definitely pretty cool. All of us here with the hot rods and the customs are definitely fortunate to be the first ones to do it at the inaugural. It really is a wild time definitely is awesome. and on a beautiful day <laughs> yeah we lucked out yeah, well I'm gonna check out the rest of the hot rods in this circle so stay tuned for more to come on beterrific.com